Hey everybody, welcome to Sandra's Art Studio. Today I'm painting these outlets and the backsplash is a very porous surface. So let's start with that. First, I have to protect that backsplash with a plastic cover. Keep in mind that it has to be translucent and I have to be able to see at all times the patterns and the colors to match as best as I can, right? Second, I want to have some adhesive promoter and I'm going to skip the whole sanding part. I'm also going to need some paintbrushes, a little water container to rinse my paintbrushes, maybe a paper plate so that way I can mix my colors, and some acrylic paints. So the first thing I'm going to do is clean that outlet really good with some alcohol, and I'm going to loosen the screws just one full turn. Now I'm ready to paint, and I'm choosing these beige earthy tone colors to start, and everything is going to be in layers. So at the beginning you see that the bottom brick has too much of a pinky tone but I knock it off on the second round with a little bit more yellow in the mix and I get it the way I want it. Keep in mind not to have too much paint loaded on your brush because you don't want to get the GFI buttons glued so periodically I will with an X-Acto knife go around those buttons just to make sure that they don't get stuck. And for your convenience I do have in the description links to products that I'm using to make this video and that I use in general of acrylic paints and adhesive promoters and paintbrushes. And back to the project in hand. So I do have quite a few layers. Occasionally I will step back and look at it from a different angle until I'm happy. Once I am happy with this project, I will take it off the wall and I will finish off all the edges because it's very hard to get to the edges. So I just continue the line of color all the way to the edges. And once I'm done, I set that on the side because I have another receptacle that I have to do. More than likely, you'll have the same experience that I do when it comes to painting the second, the third, and so on, outlets or receptacles, whatever it is that you're painting, that it goes a little bit faster. The first outlet that I painted was basically a warm-up. I kind of like understood the colors and the patterns way better. And then the second and on goes just a little quicker. So here I'm doing the same thing that I did with the first one, which is cover that background. And then I spray it with a little bit of adhesive promoter. I like adhesive promoter because I can skip the whole sanding down thing, you know, and all I do is clean this outlet really good with alcohol and spray it with adhesive promoter, let it dry for like five minutes, and then start painting um, using the colors that I want to paint. And just like I did on the first one, don't forget to unscrew one full turn on these screws, so that way you don't get the paint in between the grooves, and all of a sudden everything is kind of like stuck together, and then the moment you unscrew or screw it back together, you can chip the paint off. I hope this video is inspiring you to get your own outlets done, or even better, do it yourself and if that is the case please send me pictures i would love to see what you guys are doing okay so now that we're coming to the end number one is to make sure that all your edges are completely covered number two make sure everything looks good like look at it from different angles and then when everything is dry after like an hour with the plastic still on the wall protecting the wall you can aim to spray the very center of the outlet with this product called Diamond Finish. And I insist, just the center. Don't worry about the edges, okay? Once that is a little tacky, you take the outlets apart and you take the whole project outside on a cardboard and you want to go ahead and give it a good spray with this product right here. Spray the edges really good, but I insist do most of it outside to keep the fumes and the overspray at bay. Right? You don't want to smell this too much. So inside, just do the center. And after it gets tacky, you take it outside and finish the whole job. Then you put it together. And here I am modeling my finished project. I am so proud. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned a lot. And of course, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will get to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.